So today I'm testing 28 secret places inside of Brookhaven. So for the first one, apparently inside of the downtown subway, if you click right on the downtown part of the downtown station sign, you can go inside of the wall right here and it works. And oh, okay, don't wait too long or get kicked out. Now continuing this, if you keep walking, you actually get put under the glass fountain. It's actually pretty sick. Now, if you keep walking, you can go right under it and actually even swim. So yeah, it works. Next, if you go into the hospital, Hospital. Everyone knows about this secret room up there. But if you go actually to the x-ray room and you jump behind this black thing right here, walk into the wall, you're in this weird room with a filing cabinet. Now, if you jump behind the filing cabinet, there's another secret place. Now, in here, they have this weird little tool. To be honest, I don't know what that does, but it's okay. <laughs> now, for the fifth one, if you go under this desk and press this blue thing right here, you get teleported into the weirdest place I've ever seen, okay? Look, you jump up and, like, you're swimming swimming, but you're not swimming. And then there's a server disruption power off line. Guys, I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest with you. But all I know is I found the secret place. So I had to share it with you guys. And to get out of here, you have to go to this thing right here and then click the blue right there. And it puts you next to the yacht. It's so weird. Now, number six actually has to do with the yacht. If you get on top of it and then walk right over here on the side, you see you're walking in slightly and then you fall in. Perfect. You can walk inside of the yacht. And look, it even says Wolfpack was here, which is the owner. So it's definitely a secret place. Pretty cool you could hide from basically anyone in there let me back up a little bit actually and no one would ever know <laughs> now secret number seven is in the cemetery now everyone knows about this little hole right here okay this is no secret obviously but what if i told you to actually bury yourself alive now it's not this one it's not this one but if you walk right here you fall inside of this and guys it's also a good hiding spot like no one would ever find you here and also there's a cast you can press i don't know what it does but it sounds like a little zombie when you click it and you knock on it it's kind of creepy to be honest with you so i am not messing with that Okay, I don't even want to know, but that's secret number seven. Now for the next one, you have to get the college house. Wait for it to load in. You walk inside, go all the way downstairs. And if you press this button on the bookshelf right here, it opens up a secret room, okay? Now you may have heard of this one already, but for number nine, if you get out a laptop and then sit in all four chairs while you're holding the laptop, it does something kind of crazy. It allows you to click this button right here on the ceiling, which will then open up a secret hole in the wall. So you have to feel around for it. I'm pretty sure it's in this corner right here. Here, but as you can see, it is another secret room. It's super sick. And now you feel around with your mouse right here. Press this button. You heard that noise, right? That actually allows you to enter an upside down room, which I'll show you in one second. Now for the next one, you have to make your way to the food mart, go right behind it, and then it opens up a door in the mountain. Now, obviously secret agency room is pretty cool, but I'm going to show you something cooler. For this, you have to turn off the lights. So make sure you click that. Then you walk right here, press this button. It'll pop up with password on your screen. And before you type it in, you have to walk over to the corner right here and then type in Marcus Brookhaven just like this do not misspell anything and make sure you do the same exact caps you hit enter and watch this boys password approved now if you couldn't tell we have this room right here where you can go upside down it's weird as heck guys I'm literally sitting sideways right now or actually I'm sitting upside down let me do it right here come on and <laughs> it's just so funny bro I love this room show this to your friends because none of them will know about it guys trust me and number 12 is actually Actually, the fact that you can go inside of this mountain, right? It's not that cool of a secret, but it definitely is a secret because it's not the agency and it's you're actually inside of a mountain. So I like it. Now for number 13, you need to get the farmhouse. So that one right there, let it load in. And then you want to grab the shovel right next to the fence. You may be asking, why do you need a shovel? Well, you're about to find out. Turn the water on so that way it spits out of this little uh, barrel thingy. And then you want to stand right here, not too close, not too far, and then dig five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, it teleports you into this secret room under the barn. It's actually super sick. No one knows about this and no one will ever find you in there. And also, since it's your barn, if you were to close this faucet, it would be impossible for anyone else to even get down here. Doesn't matter what goods they're using, it will not work. So yeah, pretty cool secret area. Now for number 14, now if you load in this three-story house with the pool, then go inside of the pool, you can actually find a secret room. You may be wondering, well, where is it? So you fill in the wall right here and there it is. Now, guys, I had no clue about this earlier, so the fact that I found this is actually pretty sick. You can literally hide here with your friends from anyone. And let's be honest, guys, who's finding this? Probably one of my favorite secrets. Now, if you load in this house right here with the moat, it looks like it's on the beach. I won't lie, I felt like the fact that the elevator even went down is kind of a secret. Maybe I'm dumb, but I didn't know that. But the real secret is if you place a sleeping bag in the ceiling and then jump up to it. Now, you'll need a ladder for this, so let me get one out really fast. Put that right there. Jump in the ceiling 
and you're essentially out of the map. Now, guys, you need to be careful because you can actually fall to your death and die, which I don't really want to do. But I like this secret because no one's ever really going to figure this out. It's sort of a glitch, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure it's actually meant to be in the game, but I'm going to call it a secret. Now, I just fell, but <laughs> as you can see, you are out of the map, so you have to be very, very careful, like I said, but pretty cool in my opinion. Now, next, if you load in the military base estate, walk all the way to the back, go inside, go upstairs, of course, and then you sit in this room with the paper, okay? Or sit in this chair with the paper, should I say? And then you go ahead and jump out of the chair and then stand under this little triangle thingy right here and watch what happens, boys. And uh, it's not working, actually. Okay, hold on. Okay, you have to do it really fast, actually, boys, or else it won't work. So let me try it again. Walk right under and yes, it worked. And as you can see, you now have a secret safe that nobody really knows about. Now, you can't even get out of this room normally. You have to actually glitch out. Well, not glitch out. Use a secret room and you touch that wall right there and boom, you teleport back. Very cool, in my opinion. Now, for number 17, you need the hotel. Then you go inside, walk to the left in the elevator. And if you go up and then go down really fast, make sure you're standing in the corner, you'll go into a secret room with the safe. I'm not going to lie. I actually love all these secret rooms. I didn't know about a lot of these until yesterday. So I'm glad I learned these places. <laughs> There's also another secret inside of the hotel. If you put a ladder down right here in front of these two couches and then just literally spam jump into the ceiling. Okay, I know it sounds weird, but it does work. You'll just teleport to a room. Okay, so watch this and boom. Look, what did I say? I teleported to a room. Now you can actually use the vent to just walk out. But if you go back in, you can teleport to different random rooms. So walk into the corner and then boom, new room, right? Okay, that's the same room I got unlucky, but then teleport to this one. And then look, see, this is a different room. So interesting secret in my opinion. I'm not sure why they made it like that. I feel like it's a little bit weird, but a secret's a secret. Next, if you come to the mail and packages area, walk behind the building. A lot of people probably know about this one because it's pretty popular, but there's a secret room right here. Now, if you walk even further down here, there's another secret, which if you press this light bulb right here, you get to go into a secret criminal bunker. I won't lie, this is one of my favorite secrets in the entire game because you can actually look at the cameras right here and you can see police cameras. So you can look all around the map and these actually work. You see people running around all the time. So probably one of my favorite secrets in Brookhaven. Now, next, if you walk inside of the police station, you go inside of the cells, go up in the vents. Everyone knows about this, okay? I'm not gonna count this as a secret, but then you walk inside of the wall right here and where is it? I don't know. Gotta kind of just fiddle around with it. Keep walking, keep walking and there we go. Perfect. You walk in right here. You go down this hallway. You see a cool little room, okay? Not really much here except some picture of some guy. That's actually creepy. I don't know why that's there. Anyways, you go behind the cabinet and you press this key card. You get a blue key card. So that's one secret. But you may be wondering, what does this blue key card do? Well, if you walk outside the police station, click on the house, go to house number 13, go directly behind the house, past the solar panels, past the mountain, you'll find this random room in the middle of nowhere. And it's actually an electrical room. Now, if you pull out your blue key card, you press it right here, and that's another secret. Pretty cool because it's impossible to get in this room without the key card. Literally, nobody knows how to, so you can hide from anyone in there. Now, there's actually a password here too, which is your name just all lowercase. I don't really know what it does, but it's it approved, so <laughs> I guess that's cool. <laughs> now, next, if you get the garden house, and then you walk inside, jump in the water, okay? You can swim around in here, of course, but then if you swim, I'm pretty sure it's right here in this corner. You go into a secret area with extra plants. They may be thinking, this is the secret? Well, no, it's not. You keep walking into the wall, you go swim through here, and you find the secret hidden safe. And you stash all your money in there, of course. <laughs> Next, if you get the bunker house, then go inside, go down this ladder right here, you walk around the edge, and then you'll think, okay, well, is this a secret? And no, it's not a secret, of course. You walk right here to the missile, and then you jump in the wall, you jump up here. This is also not the secret. <laughs> you go into this wall, and then you find a safe. It's crazy how all these safes are so hidden. Like, I thought they were all just kind of visible, but now that I realize it, there were so many safes that I guys that I just didn't know about. Now, for probably my favorite secret in the entire game, if you spawn in this house right here, you can walk inside, go upstairs, and click this attic button, and you'll literally be able to go into the attic. I think that's pretty cool in general, okay? I didn't know about this either. Then, obviously, you have a safe, whatever. But then, for another secret, if you grab these crystals, walk out of your house, go to the church or funeral home, whatever you want to call it, grab a ladder, jump on top, uh, and you need parkour skills for this, boys. It is not easy. Come on, uh, please, please. Guys, I can't jump. 
Okay, there we go. You press this button right there, go back down inside of this, and you'd actually spawn in a casket, which I'm not sure why it's not there. Uh, there we go. You have to click this button right here that says funerals. Then you click this white button on the casket. Now, guys, watch very closely when this happens, okay? Because there's going to be a big beam of light, and I'm going to teleport somewhere crazy, okay? So here we go in three, two, one, and let's do it, and... Oh, guys, not working. What the heck? Okay, I might have waited too long. Let me try it again. Press that, go downstairs, and press this, and look at this. Oh, the beam of light went by so fast. Maybe I can get like, a replay of it, but as you can see, it teleports you onto one of the arcs. In my opinion, very cool cool i've never seen anyone up here unless they climbed up but even then who climbs up here i don't think anyone does anyways boys that was 26 secrets inside of brookhaven try them all out for yourself and let me know which one's your favorite if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you are new and i'll see you boys in the next one peace